Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM 2 Blind. We are on the terror mission, and uh, we have one more civilian that's actually alive in this area, and we have to rescue them, otherwise we will fail the mission. And there is a single sexoid over here, um, that's fortunately not really killed anyone, so that is very good. Now what we're going to do is get Jezdemo over here. To position. And do nothing because she's actually out of ammunition. Brilliant! That's, um, yeah. Almost everyone is out of ammunition. Uh, let's get Sol Satan over here to get rid of this annoying thing. Unfortunately, there's no real place to hide, so we're just gonna go and be ballsy about it. Hello, Mr. Sectoid. Hello. 87. Don't miss. <laughs> Only four damage. Ouch. Alrighty. I think we did this. Just gotta get that. Status confirmed. Oh. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Excellent. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Nice. Well, it's still an excellent rating. Interesting. Despite the fact that we've only rescued six civilians and one wounded soldier. Jesdemo was wounded. That was pretty good, though. Wow. Top player Jezdemo. Soul Satan made most attacks. 50% successful shot percentage. That's pretty good. Felt like less, of course. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that she did the most damage. I thought um, one big fat guy did a lot. Hmm. Enemy bodies are only collected as loot if XCOM does not evac from the mission. Alright, that's pretty good. There we go. Let's get back. Ah. I have to say, the one thing that was really worried about was that was the music, that it wouldn't have epic music, but what the hell was I thinking about? The music is so epic. Wait, she was gravely wounded? Ouch. And that thing was horrible. What the hell was that thing? Right, one big fat guy getting promoted. Let's see. Take a shot with a small aim penalty for a significant damage boost. And fire your pistol at a target. This attack does not cost an action. Wow. That's actually pretty damn good. But this uh, small aim penalty for significant damage boost is kind of nice as well. It's like a headshot, I guess. Um, Because this is guaranteed damage boost, apparently. Not just, you know... A critical chance. I'm gonna go for that. Alright, Soul Satan. Blast padding. Your gear includes layers of extra padding uh, and blast plates, granting a bonus point of armor and 66% less damage from explosive attacks. Well, wow. you cannot, uh, your cannon attacks shred armor. So what? Enemies have armor now? That's pretty interesting. Uh, let's do that. Armor Shredder. And Jasdemo is gravely wounded. It's kind of a shame that there's no blood. Oh, it's, this is the same thing. Um, well, let's give you Blast pla Padding, then. There we go. Armor 1. Alright. Good job, everyone. Faceless Corpse. Requiring storage in sealed medical-grade vats. Whatever remains... The faceless leave behind dissolve rapidly into a foul-smelling paste. What the hell is this thing? It's horrible! At one time, the Thin Men were the most advanced still- This is the Thin Men?! The most advanced infiltration units available to the aliens. Now we face a species capable of mimicking the human form at will. Oh, okay, so it's not the Thin Man. If we can come to understand how it is that they emulate us so effectively, perhaps we could develop a tool to deceive them ourselves. That would be awesome. Change into Advent? Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. Yeah. The Resistance in New Arctic is grateful for your efforts to repel the aliens' retaliatory strike. With XCOM's ongoing protection, the Resistance will continue to flourish. Alright, raised by 15 supplies, monthly supply rewards increased across Asia. Excellent. Nice. Alright. So we have 8 supplies now, not really anything I can do about it. Um, 
So let's supply drop in one day. See, it's not at the end of the month anymore. Interesting. I want those supplies, so I'm gonna advance time. Strategic resource. Commander, we've got local resistance forces waiting to make contact. But we'll have to make the first move. The remains of an advent supply convoy sat in disarray along the roadside after an apparent rocket attack. The trucks were still loaded with a variety of parts and supplies, which our team was able to secure without drawing much attention. 50 supply, okay, so... Setting course for the Arctic. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Abandoned colony. Commander, after our recent success, members of the Resistance in New York have brought us reports of activity that we may want to investigate. Avenger plotting new course. <laughs> well, we got the supplies at HQ, so that's good. Um, increase region income. Let's investigate. We have not finished scanning this location. Are you sure you want to leave? No. Oh, radio. Increase region income. Okay, this is six days, so I can come back. Alright, that's pretty good. Now. I'm still not completely sure what I'm doing. I mean, sort of. Um, but, you know. Now, let's see proving grounds if I can do anything here. I don't think I can. So this is like the foundry, I guess. Skulljack, that's what I want. Interesting choice. I'll send word as soon as we're finished, Commander. Alright. So what are we researching? Uh... Oh yeah, resistance communications. All right, let's uh, scan here. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. Okay. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Oh yeah, of course, this is the end of the month report, even though it's not the end of the month. Uh, new staff available. Oh, we get... What, a soldier? Uh, oh, a corporal and a scientist, I guess. Recruit new staff at Resistance HQ, monthly supply income. Retaliation stop, blah blah blah, alien activity. That's interesting. Oh, I guess if they uh, are successful in a mission or something. Uh oh. Commander, we have intel suggesting the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. Mm. We can conduct guerrilla operations to disrupt one of these efforts, but we'll have to choose carefully. We don't have the resources to intercede everywhere. A what? Avatar project? We have received intel regarding the aliens' current activities. Preparations to foil these dark events before they can be enacted are already underway. Counter operations will be available soon. Next retaliation strike, five weeks. Um, oh, so I can't do anything here, can I? Oh, this is preparing, okay. The aliens increase their stre uh, the strength of their encryption, increasing all intel costs by 100% for a month. The aliens have come to realize the power of information and seek to safeguard it from prying eyes. The resistance informant is the aliens find a mole within the resistance, reducing the re retaliation counter by two weeks. What do you mean when the people you're trying to protect that, ma that my dad died to protect turn against you? Oh, what do you do? Um, right, so I can't choose any of these, but this is... See, I would choose this one because the retaliation, I guess, is the, you know, terror missions. But what is the intel costs? What do I buy with intel? Resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. But that means we'll have to fly over and scan the area if we want to recover this stuff for ourselves. Okay, I would click ignore, but if I click investigate, I think it's gonna say, Are you sure? You're still not finished? Uh, yeah, okay. So, how do I... Whoa, no, I didn't... Uh, I wanted to move the map. What's this? Oh yeah, there's no people working here. Uh, well, no extra people because I'm excavating. Let's check this. Um, how do I move the map? Okay, like that. So we've got this. Seven days left. Three days for this. Oh, damn, I'm not gonna be finished there. It's 140 supplies, though. Damn. So can I just come back to it? I kind of doubt I can. It's 140 supplies. Let's see what happens Avenger if I leave. New yeah, it, uh, the time goes quite quickly. Well, that thing is still there. Yeah, it's still there, so I'm 
I'm assuming I can still get it. Wait a second. What am I talking about? This is not how many days are left. This is how many days it takes to scan. I'm an idiot. Um, what's this? No. Oh. Supply drop, Asia. Oh, it is six days remaining. Well, that's scanning days remaining, right? I believe. Let's see. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Let's see. Although conceptually the idea of establishing a radio-based communication systems for the purpose of organizing a resistance movement is nothing new, hearkening back to any number of Earth's previous wars, what we hope to accomplish here is still no small task. The aliens are particularly adept at detecting our signals, with a vast array of technology and resources at their disposal. However, working in close collaboration with Chief Engineer Shen, we've begun to salvage some of the aliens' own communication equipment from within the Avenger itself. Itself. From studying the surviving log files, we've discovered an astounding number of simultaneous communications being distributed throughout their network at any given time. This has proven to be the key to our proposed solution. With so much traffic flowing through the alien network, it should be relatively easy for us to disguise our own transmissions among theirs. Using the Avenger as our central hub, we can establish a communications network linking resistance outposts around the globe. Every new contact we establish should organize and strengthen the movement as a whole. That's cool. New research available. Resistance radio. Resistance comms. Oh, that's a facility. Interesting. The resistance comms facility increases the number of regions um, that we can make contact with. Further contacts can be gained by staffing an engineer here once construction is completed. So I'm guessing like a, it's like an uplink. Uh, by replicating the communications equipment we've developed on the Avenger, we should be able to establish ground-based relays to further spread our reach. With wider coverage, it'll be easier for us to reach some of those outlying regions far off from HQ. Um, these things are horrible. Uh, let's do the... Yeah, let's do the I faces. I am at a loss for words to describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the Faceless, to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including a pliable, semi-solid outer layer, seems to be slowly degrading now that the creature has expired. There is also a pungent odor that only seems to grow stronger as time passes. That thing is creepy as all hell. This. So, um. Wait I was a second. I'm not going to admit it to Shen, but there is one thing I miss more than my lab equipment: those damn juicy Advent burgers. <laughs> I don't know where they get the meat. Uh oh. And frankly, I do not want to know. Just yeah. give the word, and I'll get started, Commander. Yeah, I don't think you want to know about the um, burgers. I think Jezdemo will know a lot about that. Um, right, so we didn't really get those sim things. I don't know what they are. Uh, let's build facilities if we can. Well, we can't because we're still clearing the debris. So never mind that. I think Dad would have been proud of what we're doing here. For the first time in a long time, we're actually a threat to the aliens and they know it. Now we just have to make all those people in the colonies remember what we're fighting for. My father didn't die so we could become a race of cowering test subjects for the aliens to toy with. We just have to get the people's attention. All right. I agree. Tigan just sent word. The new resistance communications network is fully operational. Now we just have to spread the word. Communication systems are online, Commander. We can now make contact with the local resistance in West Asia. Once a region is contacted, any regions linked to that region become immediately available for contact. East Asia? Now that we've established a link, we can use our intel resources to make contact with the local resistance cell in this region. Aside from getting us into the black site, our access to supplies should improve now that we've expanded our reach. Alright, so I don't want to make contact there just yet. I want to make contact there, but will that stop me from... After we pay the initial intel cost to make contact, we'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. 
Okay, so 40 intel times the link distance to nearest radio relay. Ah, that's why you want radio relays. And this is what intel will be for. Of course, I don't want this just yet because I want to finish scanning over here first. Alien debris cleared. Excellent. What do we want to build here? I will need power. So, uh, power should probably be... It's only... What, it only makes three power? Really? Three power? Uh, that seems like extremely little. Well, but then again, I mean, only the laboratory uses three. Workshop uses one. Oh, this uses three. This uses three. This uses three. What the hell? Is this correct? Three power only? Wow. Um, anyway, let's see. Uh, Advanced Warfare Center. Hmm. Kinda want this. Guerrilla Tactics Resistance Comms. Let's do the... Let's do the Guerrilla Tactics first, I think. Pushed our current power systems to the limit. Yep. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facilities further. Uh, building, yes. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, it's only seven days now, yes. That's nice. Okay. There's so much stuff I want to build, of course, but. We have collected all of the resources from this location. The resistance should provide us with additional supplies in a few weeks. Alright. Setting course for the Arctic territories. Alright. Commander, to aid in your efforts, we have gathered additional resources and staff at Resistance Headquarters for your use. Oh nice. Welcome, Commander. Welcome. Uh, scanning bonus. Medical assistance. While the Avenger is located here, Resistance HQ provides extra medical staff and resources to help other, uh, our soldiers recover from their injuries faster. Warning. Purchasing this ability will override the current Resistance HQ scanning bonus. The scanning bonus may only be modified once per month. Uh, Resistance volunteers assist with facility and excavation projects while the Avenger is scanning at this location, decreasing the required construction time. That's not bad, but don't really need it at the moment. And these are, whoa, so expensive. I like that you get their faces as well. Originally from the United Kingdom, Thomas was once the chief engineer on an experimental naval vessel de deployed during the earliest days of the invasion. Although he has a reputation for exaggerating his work estimates, he's also known as something of a miracle worker. Born and raised in Nigeria, Zisiwe is something of a wild card with no formal training to speak of. She may be just the kind of recruit XCOM needs. It's interesting, but it's too expensive. Um, so how long do I have to... How long do I have to scan for? It doesn't say. These findings will likely prove Ugh. crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. I've often wondered how the aliens could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out there filled with these shape-shifting creatures? Or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? I don't know, but it's certainly creepy. Codename Protean. Early reports from the Resistance referencing an alien creature said to be capable of shapeshifting were initially dismissed by local uh, cell leaders who attributed the sightings to comet stress and malnutrition. It wasn't until our own forces engaged with the creature that we successfully confirmed its existence. Surprisingly enough, the description of the creature from those early reports was quite accurate. With a varying, uh, varying height of up to three meters. <laughs> Holy crap. The specimen currently referred to as the faceless has one of the most unusual internal structures I've ever encountered. Where one might expect to find a skeletal foundation, we find uh, instead see a series of malleable chitin-like structures, providing various points for the expansion of several equally unusual fluid membranes. 
The membranes in questions, uh, question are responsible for the faceless extraordinary ability to mirror the form of a human. In recirculating key cellular com combinations via an elaborate internal structure, the faceless is capable of forming solid shapes while also mirroring colors and textures without physical sampling. As of yet, we've only seen evidence of the faceless attempting to imitate humans, but not other species or inanimate objects. Whether or not this is a limitation of their genetic makeup or an intentional manipulation of their abilities by the ali aliens, we cannot say at this time. That would be horrible. If they could just make themselves into a shelf or something. The Mimic Beacon generates a holographic decoy to draw enemy attacks for one turn. Wow. It is deployed like a grenade, thrown to decide where the decoy will appear. That's actually really nice. Um, right, let's do resistance radio. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. See, but this is the thing. Um, passing time at resistance HQ will activate the current scanning bonus. I don't have it. See, it doesn't seem like there's any point in doing this because it just passes time and, of course, searches for new things to do. But what I want to do right now is go to the abandoned colony first plotting new course. and uh, get some stuff over there. But anyway, we are going to do that next time. So thank you very much for watching and we shall continue in the next part. Bye-bye.